So let's talk about why you need to pay attention to technology in your recruiting process. Who can recognize what this might be? Any ideas? <laughs> Apparently you all know exactly where this is going. So show of hands, how many of you have been to the DMV before? All right, keep your hands up for a sec. For those that have been, how many of you would categorize that as a positive experience? Where'd all the hands go? How does this relate to recruiting? So in 2014, they did a study and they asked candidates, what would you like to rather do than fill out our bad recruiting job applications? Anybody want to guess what the statistic is here? 20% of those people said they'd rather spend an entire day at the DMV than fill out our job application, right? What does that tell us? Worse yet, 12% more, they'd rather go get a root canal <laughs> or go skydiving without instruction. I don't think any of us would categorize that as a positive experience. So our candidates have already made a preconceived perception about our process, about our technology, before they probably have even touched it. And we have to try and influence that decision to make it better for them. Who's really making it through if that's their perception? Do you think your passive candidates are gonna put up with this? Are they gonna jump through all those hurdles and those hoops that you're putting in front of them? So why is this recruiting experience so bad that over a third of our candidates wanna jump out of planes, get root canals, or go spend time at the DMV? Because the process and the technology that we built it on is ancient, and because it was never about the candidate at all. It was about compliance. We wanted to cover our butts so legal didn't come after us. We wanted to integrate our system together in one place so they could talk to each other and do cool reporting things on it. Worse yet, it was about making our recruiters' lives easier, about flicking candidates out of the process rather than opening them with open arms and welcoming them into the system. Candidate experience is the last thing ATSs think about. So what is talent acquisition leaders do we try to do? The ATS is miserable. So what we try and do is we try and bolt on solutions on top of it, put in additional processes to make it better. But what we end up generally doing is making a really bad experience for our candidates. It often breaks, it's unreliable, and we don't know how to fix it when it, when it doesn't happen together. And the big picture is often missed. So how do you fix it? First of all, you need to put yourself in your candidate's shoes. Walk through their journey, figure out what it's like, and try to fix it. Put on your marketing hat and figure out ways that you can make it better by putting your branding and your communications in there. Stay attuned to where technology and branding work together to improve their journey. Look to remove the challenges and hurdles that you put in your candidate's way. If you force login, first thing, that's a minimum of 35% drop-off, likely 60 or higher percent drop-off rate. If you make it too many steps, if it's more than two to three pages and they see that, you're gonna lose your candidates out of the process. If you're asking them too many questions, every five questions you ask them, all the way up to 35 questions, doubles your drop-off rate. Can they use their social profile to fill out the form? Does your resume parsing work? Remember, if they can't get to that submit button, you've lost them forever. You don't know who this person is until they hit that submit button in most ATSs. Put a talent network form between that apply click and your application process. And then send out 24, 48, 36 hour reminders to say, hey, looks like you dropped out, please come back. I think there's a huge opportunity here. There's a paradigm shift happening and you can either be part of it or you can lag behind and try and catch up. What is that you say? I think the opportunity is blow up what we think an application should look like. Think of them as leads, nurture them through the system, match them to jobs, but don't make them go through the whole process. How good are resumes today anyway, right? Is that really what you wanna know? In conclusion, if you think like a marketer, you put yourself in your candidate's shoes and you follow through their journey and you think about adding bits of branding and bit of content here and there, Sprinkle in a little technology to make it easier for them. You make a huge impact on your recruiting efforts and at the bottom line.